Let's get started. Now I want to let everyone know that I'm a little bit green with the mud puppy. So I want everyone to be studying on their own and checking my work. All right, so let's get this started. We're going to start at the very front of the mouth. Now this one isn't very well injected, but there is an, a small arch right here. That is the internal keratin. Carotid. Carotid. <laughs> <laughs> Out here, we have the external carotids underneath all this stuff. That one right there. Then we have the vertebral, which is this one in here. It's very badly injected, but it would be in a circle in this area. On the test, we'll probably have a better one so that you should, uh, you'll be able to understand it much easier. In here, we have the heart, and this little heart has been blown out a bit. We have the ventricle and the two atrium right here and right here. Then we have the conus arteriosus, which is this thing running up here, and it comes to this bulbous structure, which is the bulbous arteriosus. Moving on from there, we come into the entire body of the mud puppy, and if you're not really used to it, it becomes like this giant mess, and oh God, what am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to start? That sort of thing. You just have to take a quick breath and <laughs> Start with this big structure right here. This big black thing is the liver. And inside the liver, you'll find the gallbladder. It's this little thing right here. Let's see if I can get it in for the cameras. That thing right there. Underneath all this, you'll find this giant mess of crap. You'll find here the stomach. Really simple. Big old stomach. So moving on to the other side. The stomach comes down to the pyloric region down here. And the pylorus connects to the duodenum, the first part of the intestine. And over here, we can see this one it has some really good coloration on it. It starts to change colors, and it becomes the, uh, the uh, ileum. All right? The ileum comes all the way down here to the rectum, which is part of the large intestine. All right? Then we move on to this large squiggly line. And that is the ovarian duct. The ovary, and these are these structures with the eggs on them are the ovaries. And then we also have the bladder, if I can find it. It's this bad. little thing. This is the bladder, a big old bladder. Moving on, we have the kidney, which is underneath all this stuff. The kidney is not very. Ah, here it is. Right there, this gray structure underneath the ovarian ducts. Okay. So much for not having one. Oh, also the lungs. Let's take a look at the lungs because they're pretty important. They might show up on your test. You have the lung right here and the lung right here. We can just get those right out of the way because the, the mud puppy is actually an aquatic organism. Here you can see it's got the gills up here. So it doesn't really need lungs to breathe. It uses them as a hydrostatic organ. So let's start talking about the blood vessels. Oh, God, the blood vessels. The tiny little blood vessels that you can barely see. And they're really sucky, and I hate them. But here we go. This blood vessel coming behind this ovarian duct here is the dorsal aorta. You can see this pink line right here. Hope you can anyway, this pink line right here. Everybody see that? Okay, good. Moving on from there, the dorsal aorta comes down here to this one little artery right here. And this is the toughest artery you guys have to know. It's called the celiacomesenteric artery. Wow. It comes up here, and it splits off into four other arteries. The first one goes to the spleen, which is this gray organ here that I forgot to tell you guys about. Splenic artery is that pink one right there. Hold on. That pink one right there goes to the spleen. The next one is the pancreaticoduodenum, which goes to the pancreas and the duodenum. Maybe we can see it a bit better from the other side. There we go. Pancreaticoduodenal is this one over here. It splits off to the left, and it comes to the pancreas and the duodenum. Then we have the hepatic, which is this one right here. It comes up to the liver. All right? Finally, we have the mesenteric, the first mesenteric one, which is this one coming off right here. Okay, let's move on to some of the other arteries that we have to know. 
So coming off the dorsal aorta, we have the intestinal, uh, the uh, mesenterics, followed by the intestinals, which are the ones that come right to the end. Okay, and I think that's most of the arteries that I can think of. Oh, right, hypogastric. The hypogastric comes onto the bladder. And then there's the gastric artery, which is up here, coming off of the dorsal aorta. It's hard to see. Come on. Don't make me look bad in front of the cameras. Well, the dorsal aorta has this artery come up here, and this is the gastric artery, right on to, uh, you can see the pink stuff all over the, all, all over the stomach. Okay, we got all the arteries. Let's talk about some of the veins. So, right away, let me get this lung out of the way. Right away, we have these two veins that we're coming on, that we looked at before. So, we're along the dorsal aorta, we have the posterior cardinal vein, the blue one. So that blue one right there. And this one up here, this one goes up into the liver. So you might make the mistake of thinking that it's the hepatic portal vein, but it's not. It's the post cava, this one right here. Then, moving back here, we have the renals and the uh, genital arteries and veins. So we see here the arteries and veins. And back here, we have the renal arteries and veins back here, okay? And 